And on this show, I've been very lucky to call some of my friends out here. On the very first edition of this show, I have a very, very, very cool friend who's doing a very uncool thing right now. I'm like those contestants on KBC, you know, right? You are. We're excited to be on camera. Ladies and gentlemen, Varun Thakur! Hi, I love you guys, I love you guys. Uh, Varun, hmm. firstly, thank you so much for being the first guest yeah. on my show. It's so exciting. Do you really remember the first time we met? Do you remember what happened? How did shit go down? Do you yes, remember? I do. I think I met you first time at the MTV office. Is it? Yes. So okay. I had come in to uh, talk to them about the show that uh -huh. I was supposed to do. And I oh, had yeah. to meet you in the corridor. Right. She's always friendly. Like, I felt like I already know her. The right. first time I met you, I actually felt that we've been friends for some time. So it's true. Very cool, yeah. Also. Very cool. <laughs> we can move on to the next question. Maybe 150 bucks more. 150 bucks more, that's fine. That's okay. That was your rickshaw fare, which mm -hmm. I will pay you. Why don't just calm down? Yeah. I but what I really want to ask you is that apart from all of this, this fun stuff that you do on stage, when you're off stage, does it annoy you when people actually come up to you and say, hey, hey bro, hey, hey, joke bol, that's funny, hey, hey, joke bol. Is it annoying? I, I, I can't even begin because it happens every time. And it's come to a point where people who don't even do it ironically. They do it because they really want me to tell them a joke. Now. Like right now. And I'll tell you where the weirdest time this happened. I was in Goa for New Year. Right. I was at a rave party. <laughs> okay, where people are going mental. There's some 5,000 people just like, yeah. I'm also in one of those, and suddenly I get a tap on my shoulder. Hey, bro, Vicky, bro, you're too good, bro. Take some of the school and it's just like, Vicky. And I'm off my face. I'm like, ah, okay, like that. He's come, put his camera on. He's like, bro, Vicky, karna, Vicky, karna. And I mean, it's sweet because that's what you work for. Yeah. People to recognize you. But yeah. I don't think people understand that. You pay for my show. You can have a life. Uh, when did you realize that I think it's funny man, I can actually do this for a living. See, I think first first and foremost, I get my comedic genes from my parents. Because uh, they are super funny. Okay. They are so funny. I mean funny in ways they don't realize they're funny but they're just funny. Yes. First time I actually realized it was, uh, so my close friends and I, we would uh, uh, always chill on this friend's terrace. Okay. And we would do unmentionable. And uh, we would, I, I would prank call and I would do it every night and it became a thing where like the friends probably kept increasing because right. people wanted to come and be a part of this oh prank session. So I'm like, okay, people are laughing at what I'm saying. And then when you would sit and chill, they would all laugh. Mm. So you started to realize, wait, you are the funny guy in the group. More people started showing up, more people started laughing. And then I'm like, yeah, man. I'm funny, bro. Funny guy. You had a lot of experiences on the stage. Mm. I'm pretty sure you do a lot of live events. Has there been any absurd oh. demand? You have no oh, idea. Demands. <laughs> I was two years into comedy. I was performing at the Laugh Factory. After the show, you know, I always uh, finish the show, I run back and then I go out up front so that people come to me like, hey, good show. Yeah, so I went. So, so humble. Why I'm so very humble. humble. I go for that shit. If I go behind shit and everybody's had a good time and gone and not told me what's the point. These two guys came up and they're like, bro, you're, you're very funny. Uh, he's like, will you do a show for us? I said, yeah, because in the beginning I was like, whatever, man, That's you have money, I'll do it. Just give me money, I'll do it. So he's like, uh, okay, it's a party, it's happening in Lonavla next weekend. Uh, so we'll send you the cards and that I didn't have a manager then. Right. Okay, so I was like, yeah, okay, whatever. And uh, they sent the card. I've gone to the place. I've gone up on stage. I've gone to the mic and lights have come on. I'm like, hey guys, how's it going? And when I said, hey guys, they were just guys. And I was like, okay, maybe the women have gone out, they'll come back. In my head, like I'm just doing my bit. Five minutes into, I'm like, there, is, there are no women no, here no. at all. So I just made a joke. I'm like, hey guys, what are you guys from engineering colleges? <laughs> That's when one of the dudes looks at me, he's like, Aray bro, it's his bachelor party. He points at the groom and he's like, it's his bachelor party. And I had to stop myself midway because I'm just like, what? Why am I here? You know, in my head, I'm like, should I just strip while I do the jokes? You know, like, hey guys, you know, what's the deal? Felt really, really bad. Yeah, so that was probably the most bizarre. Like, I finished my next half an hour in like 15 minutes. I was not even waited to take my money. Like, you transfer it. But this was probably the most bizarre incident. But the funniest stuff happens at corporate shows. Uh, corporate shows are where basically people pay you money to not laugh. Like, you always revalued your career after a corporate show. Like, am I funny? Like, is this meant for me? Like, none of them laugh. Like, what's wrong? 
Anyway, so this was for a bank, okay, and these four people have been taken to Goa for an offsite. Okay, so the host brings me on stage and she's like, now to tickle your funny bone because that's the only introduction they have for comedians. Yeah. So please go and teach all these hosts that they can vary their introductions a little bit. Anyways, I'm already pissed off because I've been called to tickle their funny bone, right? I come in on stage and this guy is still posing. So all the people are confused. Like, should we clap for this guy who got an award or this dude who just walked in? So they're like, <laughs> very like weird applause. That guy goes on. I'm like, hey guys, how's it going? I'm doing about five minutes. They laugh a little bit, chuckle. Six, seven minutes, they're chuckling a little bit. And then suddenly, I can see like 200 people looking to their left. Like, not, even, not even not even, they're just looking to the left, like 200 people. Right. Okay, so I was just like, what is going on? So I just walk to the stage, I look to the side, and there's these two Russian models in like hot shots <laughs> with a plate full of vodka shots in their hand. <laughs> okay, now no matter how funny you are as a comedian, you cannot compete with Russian models holding vodka shots. Did I sign up for this? Yes, like, you did.